there, Angela Price from Eden Condensed here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make what's called a color bowl. So sometimes you'll see these in the nursery where you'll have a, a bowl shaped planter and it'll be full of colorful annuals. Well, these are super easy to make and you can actually buy enough flowers to make several of them and then put them around your front porch or on a table and they're a really great way to add some color to your garden. So the first thing we wanna do is to have a container, and I actually have a plastic terracotta colored bowl, but you can use different shaped containers, which is fine. And I wanna put an all-purpose uh, planting mix in here to start off with. So we're gonna put a few scoops of this. And it's important to use really good quality uh, potting mix when you're doing your color bowl here. So I have an assortment of really beautiful flowers here. And one of the um, ways to make a container is what's called the thriller filler spiller method. And with that, you're going to put a taller plant kind of in the middle and then medium plants or shorter plants around the edge, which is your filler, and then some plants that'll hang over the side and give a little extra drama um, as they grow. So I've chosen these blue salvia as my kind of thriller plants, and I'm gonna put a couple of these in here because I like the way they look. They've got a nice little pop of color at the top. They grow tall, and you'll get a lot of extra flowers as they continue to grow. And I'm just gonna put those in the middle. And then for my filler plants, I have some sweet alyssum. And I actually lucked out and was able to find some that had purple and white in the same container. Um, but they, they come in purple and white and sometimes a lighter purple as well. And I'm gonna pop these out. And these, these have a really nice scent to them too. So, so we're gonna put a few of these around. Probably, I'm gonna say five. Put five of these around here. I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of nestling them into the, the soil that I put down. I wanna make sure I get all these purple ones too, because they'll look nice with the, the blue purple salvia. And then before I fill it anymore, I'm actually gonna add a, just a little bit of fertilizer that's great for flowers. And this is a, a bud and, and bloom fertilizer and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit around in between the plants here and this adds an essential uh, nutrients that will actually help the, the plants bloom and you'll get your best blooms out of it. And then the last step is to put your spiller plants in. So I have these little mini uh, petunias and these are called lemon slice because they're yellow and white striped and they're really really beautiful. And get these guys out of here and loosen up the roots a little bit. And I'm gonna pop these two here. And you'll see they get kind of wide, but they're gonna grow over the sides of the bowl here. Okay, and this one I'm gonna put over on the other side. And again, we're gonna loosen up those roots, take a little bit off the bottom, tuck that one over here. And you can actually train these so that they'll grow over the pot as opposed to growing into the flower. So I'm gonna snip off just a couple of these here that are growing in the direction that I don't want them to grow in. And these little mini petunias are really prolific, so you'll get tons of flowers. And then I'm gonna fill in in the spaces with my potting soil. And you wanna make sure that you get up to the top of the root ball with your potting soil. And don't worry about getting potting soil on the flowers. You can just kind of shake those, shake that off as you go. But make sure you've got enough in here, kind of tuck it under and around. And one of the fun things about a color bowl is that, you know, don't worry too much about it looking kind of crowded at the beginning. You can always uh, do a little trimming as you need to as it grows, but you want to get that kind of beginning oomph. So the last thing we want to do is get this watered in. Now remember, whenever you're planting in pots, pots will tend to dry out faster than in-ground planted flowers. 
So do check on a daily basis to see if your plants need some water. You can always set up a little drip system into this, but I think coming out and doing a little hand watering uh, is, is usually the best thing to do. And if you water in the morning too, more of the water will stay in the plants instead of evaporating out in the air. So here's the, uh, the color bowl we have. So we've got a nice uh, purple and blue and, and white and yellow uh, flower bowl for you to enjoy. So happy gardening. I'll see you on the next video.